Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the second problem from the latest code forces round 785 problem name a perfectly balanced string. So let's call a string as perfectly balanced. If for all the possible triplets you find out for the particular string s such that t is a non empty substring of s u and v are any characters present in the string s. Now if you take out so let's say that for any substring and any two characters from the string s if you find out the difference between the frequencies of u and v in t is not more than one. Now if that is possible for all the given triplets that particular string is called balanced. Now for the given string that you have you just have to find out that whether the given string is balanced or not. So I'll tell you with an example it will become more clear to you. So let's say that for a given string let's say ABA you have to find out all the given substrings for that given string. Okay. And then for among all the given substrings, you can take out any two characters from the given string that you have. And then you find out the frequency of that particular string, like the character. So let's say for the first string that you have, all the given substrings are this. Now, because only there are two characters, so A and B. So let's say for the given this string, the frequency of A is 1 and frequency of B in this particular substring is 0. For this substring, the frequency of A is 1, frequency of B is 1, frequency is 2, 1 and all of that. Now the difference like so as you can see uh, the difference between the frequencies of U and V should not be equal to 1 like should not be more than 1 and that is as you can see satisfied here so that's the given string is a perfectly balanced string but for let's say another, another string it not be possible and so on so you just have to tell that. Now there can be multiple ways to solve this problem out but uh, the best like the first thing that you have to come to mind is let us remove this particular part. Let's say that you have any given string. Uh, let's say a string is like this A A B C. Okay. Now what you can see here is that if two characters are adjacent to each other like any two characters are adjacent to each other. You can take this as a substring a and then you can take two characters okay for this given substring the characters can be this particular character that is a and any character out of this particular substring so let's say c now because this character is present twice in this substring so the frequency of this a is 2 and the frequency of c is 0 so the answer is 2 and it will become false and because any other triplet become false the complete substring like if the complete string is not balanced or answer is bad. So you just have to ensure that like the first thing what you can ensure or what you can understand is that two characters cannot be side by side. Because if two characters are side by side then it can happen that like it can get bad. But at which condition two characters can get side by side. If all the characters are same like if, if the complete string is same a, 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 so on then it is like then it is fine because whatever substring you take Okay, there is only one character that you can take. So you can take two characters that are same and the frequency of both the characters are same in this. So the answer is like uh, zero because the frequency of A is less than, let, let's say this particular substring is four and another A is four. So the answer becomes zero. So you just have to find out any substring and frequency of any two characters from the given string that you have. The subtraction of those frequencies in this particular substring that you have taken should be less than equal to one. If for all the triplets that is satisfying and answer is correctly fine that it is a perfectly balanced string else it's not. So for a given string that is all same then it is fine. Okay so all same like if so what you can observe here is so if there is only one type of character so if there is only one type of character the whole string should be of same like the whole string should be same. Let's say that the characters so the, the thing here is that if the if we have only one type of character one type so the whole string should be same that the whole string should be only cutting of that character. If there are two types of character let's say a and b. So if a is a is not possible because two characters cannot be of same type same like consecutively because if they are the same type and we have two different type of characters we can take this as a substring and we can find out the frequency of a and b. So in this in this subset the frequency of a is uh, 2 and the frequency of b is 0 so the answer becomes false. So it means that they can be alternative. So a b a b a b and so on. So that is perfectly fine because if you take out any substring let's say even at this 
Now in this also the substring like the frequency of a is two, the frequency of one is like b is one, so the answer is one. So that is completely fine. So the like they can be like a b a b like alternating. So if there are three different types of characters, so it can be like this a b c a b c and so on. And it is not like the it is it should be a b c like if the different character like if the three different type of character should be like if the three characters that we have is a like b c z. So the string should be like anything can be like it can be like b c z b c z or it can be like c z b c z b but it should be like a like a periodic of all the three characters like this because then it is only satisfying because if any two characters of the same type come close okay or if we have two characters in the frequent like in the zone that are same what i mean by this is so let's say that it is like this c z b then it is like z c b if it is this then what you can do is that you can take out two z's like this okay and you can find the frequency of c and z now in this c is zero and z is two so answer become false so what i what i mean by this is that you have to find out the frequencies should be all like in the whatever range we have you have to just should be in a particular period like this so i'll say take it on to the code part now so what i've done here is that we have to take a because we have to find a different number of characters we have we have made a set we have pushed all the different characters from that particular string in, inside the set now the string is okay what i'll do is that i'll iterate over this whole string and what i'll do is that we have to just ensure that for any character that we are on okay if let's say we have three characters so every third character should be like so if this is c then every third character should be c every so if this is z so after every third character it is z so it's the, it should be like c z b c z b c z b and so on so if this cat so it's of period 3 so every third character back should be like c so every third character back should be z every third character back should be b and so on so what i've done here is that if the current i on on which we are is not equal to the third character back so we, th this is the list size different characters we have mod it with i whatever character i am on okay so it's like just moving out like uh, on the period of that for first three characters like whatever are the first three so let's say the total different characters are three so every three character should be like the replication of the first three characters what i've that's, that's what I'm checking out if that is true then the answer is correctly fine if at any point of time that is not matching out then the answer becomes zero and in the end we just print out the answer according to that so that's the whole logic you can like you can write down this particular logic in any way possible that's the simplest way i find out out so i just write down in this way so that's the overall logic and code part for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end I will see you next time. Keep coding and bye.